Hey everybody, Greg Laurie here. You know, in the busyness of this season, with all of our technology and all of the distractions, sometimes we need to slow down and focus on what this is all about. I want to talk to you about that. I am at the Billy Graham Training Center at The Cove in Asheville, North Carolina. If you look over yonder there, you'll see the top of a spire. And that is a chapel that has been built and placed here at the Cove. And by the way, that particular little chapel was designed by Ruth Graham, the wife of Billy Graham. Ruth has now been in heaven for a number of years. But you know, when this chapel was originally erected, the steeple wasn't high enough. And Ruth said, make the steeple higher. I want people to see it. She wanted the message of the gospel to go out to the whole world, and this was sort of a symbolic way to say it. You know, as we're here in these beautiful surroundings, I'm thinking a little bit about Christmas and the reason for it. It's coming. It's getting closer all the time. I think our very reaction to the approach of Christmas shows how old we are. When you're really young, you say, oh, I can hardly wait till it comes. And when you're older, you're saying, is it over yet? Life has been described in these four stages. Stage one, you believe in Santa Claus. Stage two, you don't believe in Santa Claus. Stage three, you become Santa Claus. Stage four, you look like Santa Claus. That's where I am right now. But the real purpose of Christmas is a celebration of the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember that wise men came from the East with gifts for that little child that had been born. And at Christmas, we remember this, and we give gifts one to another. But here's something to consider. When you're buying a gift for a man, don't bother wrapping it. Wrapping a gift for a man is a waste of time. You know why? Because men just want to get what's inside of the box. For instance, when you give a beautifully wrapped gift to a woman, she very carefully undoes the ribbon and says, Oh, this is so nice. I'm going to use this later. Then she unwraps it, doesn't tear the paper. Oh, and she actually reads the card you give her. And sometimes she's even touched by the sentiment in it. And then she looks at the gift and thanks you for it. Give the same gift to a man. He'll look at the card, but only to see if there's money in it. Then he'll cast it aside, quickly go through the paper. He's never going to reuse it again. He just wants to know what you got him. Listen, the first Christmas gift that God gave to us was the gift of his son. For unto us a child is born, Isaiah 9, 6 says. Unto us a son is given, the gift of eternal life. Jesus did not come beautifully wrapped, so to speak. He came as a very poor man, wrapped in rags, and laid his life down and went to a cross and died for our sin and rose again from the dead. You know, sometimes we forget about that. We want to think of that sweet little babe in the manger. But that baby was born to die that we might live. So here's the essential message of Christmas. God came to be with us. And listen to this. If you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, God is with you right now. Maybe you're going through a hardship. Maybe you're all alone. Maybe you're in a convalescent home. You're in a prison. You're isolated. Maybe you're bound in a body that doesn't work like it ought to. Maybe you're going through a time of tragedy or mourning. Whatever your circumstances, here's the message of Christmas. God is with you. Christmas is not so much about presence under a tree. It's about God's presence in your life. It's something to think about. For unto us a son has been given, to us a child. 